Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Freedom of 78 from Shorts Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Freedom of 78. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery in Three Rivers, Michigan. It was $2.59. Shorts does not put the ABV or IBUs on the can. You can always, or the bottle, you can always go to their site to find out additional information and the ABV and the IBUs. Going by untapped, this is a 8% ABV, excuse me, and 70 IBUs. I've had this one probably for two weeks. Usually they put a date on the bottle, but I did not see one and I still don't see one. Um, this is a India Pale Ale brewed with pink aguava. This is a collaboration with Half Acre Beer Company in Chicago. So this should be interesting. Even from the bottle, you can tell there's floaties in there but it shouldn't hurt us at all there we go um that's about that's all uh, that's about it that's on this bottle um i believe um uh draft therapy did a shorts beer and asked what beers you want to see coming up or want to try from shorts and this is the one that i told him so if we look at the head uh, kind of off-white khaki-ish head, small medium bubbles, about a half a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. If we take a look at the color, it does have floaties. It is kind of clear. I can see the light through it. Some bubbles, moderate bubbles, I would say, coming up. I do have some bubbles on the side. And the, the color is like a wet straw yellow color. So, kind of darker than straw yellow. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Tartness is what I smell. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had sneezed about 10 times. Yeah, like a tart, sour smell is all I get from this. That's weird because I thought it would be more sweetness. Yeah, I'm going to look just to make sure. Yeah, okay, IPA. Yeah, tart sweetness is about all I'm getting out of the smell. I don't get malt. I don't get any kind of hops, no fruit, no citrus, no pine, nothing like that. Tart citrus or tart sour. Let's go ahead and get a taste. very light beer it is like a tart a guava kind of taste in there um a little bit of bitterness in the back i i don't know what to say you know my brain was thinking ipa that's what i wanted to me it really doesn't taste like an ipa For 8%, you definitely can't get that. 70 IBUs, you don't get any real bitterness like on um, 70 IBUs. Pink Aguava must take over pretty much everything that it's in, I'm guessing. To me, I would say this is a good sour. Yeah. For the beer, I would go four out of five. There's nothing bad about it. It's pretty good. You get a little bit of that tartness, you know, very smooth, a tiny bit of bitterness in back, maybe a touch of citrus, and then it's gone. Like the aftertaste is, I almost want to say like a blood orange kind of thing, a blood orange tartness. Yeah. 
yeah, there's really nothing in the immediate taste, but that aftertaste, like a blood orange tartness, is what I'm getting. Yeah, I would go four out of five. Definitely, if you're big into IPAs and you don't like, excuse me, um, a sour IPA, tart IPA, you just want that fruitiness or that citrus with that piney bitterness in the back, you, you probably won't like this one as much. But if you're into a tart, sour beer um, that does have some characteristics of blood orange, uh, definitely one to pick up. Let's look on Untapped. Um, so 35 of my friends have had this average 4.01 out of 5. 19,000 people have had this average 3.83 out of 5. Um, yeah, a lot of guava. Tropical fruit forward. I don't get that. It's not bitter. It's not fruity. Grapefruit. Yeah, you, you could say grapefruit, blood orange, whatever your taste buds are getting that day, I guess. Yeah, tangerine, nectarine um, is what Shorts is saying is in this beer. I think more of blood orange than I do like a grapefruit or a tangerine, nectarine kind of thing in the aftertaste. I'm guessing that's where the bitterness is coming from in this beer. But, yeah, if you, if you want more of that, like, generic citrus, generic fruit, piney, bitter kind of IPA, probably one uh, I would probably try, but just get one because, yeah, that, I'm going with blood orange. That blood orange in the aftertaste is good and the guava in it is good, just not what I was thinking this beer was. I would probably pick up a four-pack, a six-pack, and drink this. It is good. Um, and it is one I would recommend to my IPA friends that was wide into IPAs and not like just, I want either fruit and bitterness or citrus and bitterness. So that'll wrap up this beer review. And until next time, happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.